Hello everybody, this is Evan with Tabletop Gaming Guild, and today I'm going to be bringing you a review of Picture Perfect, the 5 and 6 player expansion. So I'm going to take you down to the table, show you what's included in the box there, and give you my final thoughts about it. Alright, so down here onto the tabletop, we have... Oh, this the stuff here for the five to six player expansion of Picture Perfect. So in there, you're gonna get a quick little, I guess you wanna call it rule book, but it's more of just what the game components are and just a little tiny bit of changes. As you can see, it's a very, very small little piece of paper. It doesn't, overall, it doesn't change a lot. There's one, two things different for setup and rules, and then how auctions, if you're playing that way, how that changes, just quick little blurbs there. Inside, you're gonna get two more tables. You get all the base dandies. Two more scoring cubes. And then Two more of the diagram areas. Two more of the scoring sheets with different art on the inside, which I really like these ones. Got that one here. And this one here. Way different than the ones that come into the base game. And then there's going to be some new cards here. Two more VIP cards. And then... These are all the 5-6 auction, and then the regular on how you trade out the envelopes. But that's everything that's in there uh, for the 5-6 player. Uh, base game only plays to 4. This moves it up to 6. And it doesn't change the game a whole lot. Like I said, everything that it does here is all on that. But I'll take you back up and give you my final thoughts. So final thoughts there here on the um, five and six player expansion for Picture Perfect. So it doesn't really add a whole lot extra to the game. It just makes it so it's playable by a higher player count. Um, I did like on the the player screens the two extra um, scenery pieces that they put into that, the, the picture in the back, because they're different from what's in the base game and they're real, real pretty. But beyond that, I mean, it doesn't add really anything other than just a higher player count. So. If this is a game that you like, but you have, you know, five to six people that would want to play this, then, you know, it's definitely something to get. Otherwise, you know, it is one that you could skip if you just want player counts, because obviously you don't need it. But that's my final thoughts there. So definitely hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and follow our content.